Welcome to Moo Moo Math and Science. In this video, let's work on solving word problems like this. It says Mr. B bought several gift cards for his friends. Each gift card is valued at $18. He spent $90 altogether. How many gift cards did he buy? What you can do, there's a couple ways you can go about solving this, and this works pretty well. First, you need to identify the variable, which is the missing information. In other words, what are they asking for? Then you identify what operation is happening to the variable. Now, there are a couple words that kind of give you clues, and I'll show you these. Okay. For addition, you can, you'll sometimes see more than, altogether, total, sum, all in. And for subtraction, you'll see less difference, less than, falling, or spent. And then for multiplication, move this up, you'll see double, triple, times, per, each, or a product of. And for division, separate, groups, and then per and each. And yes, per and each are used on both of them. You just have to read the content. So let's apply these steps. Wait, and then after you do this, you then write an equation using symbols and then you solve and label. So let's try to use these steps on a couple example problems uh, and see if we can figure this out. So let's get started. Okay, so problem one is the one we just read. Okay, so Mr. B has been generous and he's bought some gift cards for his friends. Okay, and it says each gift card was valued $18. He spent $90 altogether. How many gift cards did he buy? So let's identify the variable. It is, what is the missing information? He wants to know how many gift cards. Okay, so why don't we go with uh, uh, C for cards. Okay, next he knows that uh, he spent $90 altogether. Altogether is one of the multiplication words. And so altogether is the total. So we'll go 90 for the total. And we know that he spent $18 times the variable to equal 90. And the variable is the number of gift cards. So now all we do is, let me make sure, move this up just a little bit. We divide each side by 18. Okay. Uh, bring down the C equals and 90 divided by 18 is 5. So we've solved it, and now we need to label it. It was five gift cards. Okay, that's the first one. Let's look at a couple more examples. Okay, Robert had money in his wallet. He spent $22 on lunch and has $65 left. How much money did he have in his wallet before buying lunch? Okay, so first let's identify what the variable is, and we want to know how much money he had in his wallet before lunch. So why don't we call that M for money, okay? Next, we know that um, he spent money, and M is the total, so he subtracted $22 on lunch, and that's going to equal our uh, total of what we have left, which is 65. So now we have the variable and we have the operation. Okay, now all we do is solve. In order to solve this, we go 22 on both sides. We add 22 both sides, bring down the M, and that equals 65 plus 22 is 87. So now we have solved it, and now we need to label it, and that is $87. So he started with, that's a terrible dollar sign, by the way. He started with $87. He spent $22 and now has $65 left in his wallet. One more. Okay, Bob makes cupcakes to sell at his store. He sold 240 cupcakes and sold each for $5. How much money did he make selling cupcakes? Okay, the variable is how much money did he make? So let's go with, again, we can go with M for money. Okay, I'm going to move this up a little bit. Okay, and uh, let's see what happens. We know that we want to know the grand total, and he sold each. Uh, sometimes that is a Q for multiplication, and he sold 240, and each was $5. So M is just going to equal 240 
times 5. So 240 times 5 is equal to 1,200. And now all we do is label it. So he made $1,200 selling 240 cupcakes at $5 each. I hope this helps. And remember, kindness multiplies kindness. Be kind to someone today.